and startups are also playing a big part in the uh, security industry, and we have one that just came out of stealth mode with us here, uh, Ayla Data. We have John Peterson, the Chief Product Officer. Uh, first of all, tell us cybercrime is on the rise, but how, by how much? A lot. I mean, last year, uh, six trillion dollars was lost in, uh, because of cybercrime, and there remains to be about one trillion dollars spent just to buy security tools to try to mitigate this damage. And you're taking a different approach. I mean, there's a lot of competition in the field, but what makes your product different? Well, we believe that there's three major problems that the industry is experiencing right now. One is just the deployment of legacy technology to try to detect cyber breaches. The other is, is blind spots. Uh, organizations deploy security tools, but they don't have coverage everywhere. And the third thing is just that there's a human problem. There's not enough cyber security professionals in the industry to combat these problems. So with ALA, what we're doing is taking a different approach. We call our technology an AI-driven pervasive breach detection system that aims to eliminate blind spots, leverage legacy or uh, modern day technology, and to solve the human uh, problem with artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. And you believe your product could have prevented some of the things that have happened in the past. For example, uh, Equifax scandal was a huge one. Uh, you know, cost businesses and a lot of information, social security information. How could something like that have been prevented? That's right. I mean, if you think about organizations the size of Equifax, it does beg the question, how could they have gotten breached? And they probably have spent lots of money on cybersecurity tools. 143 million records were lost. We at Ala Data actually replicated that cybersecurity breach and used our technology to actually detect that breach within minutes. Uh, the industry has this, this uh, awareness of 200 days to detect a breach. Um, with our technology, we can detect a breach in 10 minutes. I like to liken the problems uh, like you would think about the weather. You can't stop a hurricane, but you can get ahead of it and mitigate the damage from being done. And that's our approach in trying to do that in the fastest way possible. And the Microsoft CTO I talked to was kind of talking about how you're only as good as your weakest link. I know a lot of startups like you also sort of uh, abide by that philosophy. Tell us how um, scandals like Target, for example, right. that is exactly that case. And can you prevent something like that? Absolutely. In the case of Target, I think it was about 41 million uh, credit cards were stolen. And, and it wasn't necessarily the fault of Target or their security infrastructure, but they had partnered with a company, an HVAC company, and that HVAC company had connectivity into the Target network because they're doing business together. They did not have the appropriate tools deployed. And because of that, Target, unfortunately, uh, experienced the, the age-old problem of only being as strong as your weakest link. In that case, it was the HVAC company. But Facebook's completely different, though. That's a different situation. That's right. So Facebook's a little bit different. Facebook inadvertently lost data. Um, but it does bring up the, uh, the point of information loss and information security is super important today uh, to the, the security professional as well as to the everyday person. Okay. What about other industries that are sort of under attack? We've talked about the financial industry. Any other uh, sectors facing the threat? Yeah, I mean, the medical industry is also uh, facing this threat. There's regulations in place right now, like HIPAA, which is uh, geared to ensure that medical organizations are protecting the sensitive medical records of people like you and myself. Uh, there was an example a couple years ago, I think, was the Presbyterian Hospital in Hollywood, and they were um, a victim of ransomware. And they unfortunately actually had to move patients to other hospitals because their entire computer systems had gotten shut down. Is it kind of a cat and mouse game between the protectors and the attackers? And traditionally, have the attackers been ahead? Do you think the, they're actually coming closer together, or was that always the way it is? It is a cat and mouse game, and unfortunately, there are more bad guys in the world than good guys, I like to say. Um, so how do you get ahead of this problem if there's not enough cybersecurity professionals to try to fight the bad guys? Well, at ALA, we believe that artificial intelligence is a way to do that because it's simulating the human mind to be able to triage and identify these attacks without having to continuously have to throw people at the problem. Thank you very much, John Peterson. Uh, coming out of stealth mode, the startup ALA, and Venture Capital has actually invested $7.8 billion uh, in 2017 in security startups, so it is a hot industry.